Okay, so morning of day five. Uh, stayed at Blood Mountain Cabins last night and we had a big storm come through, lots of thunder and lightning, uh, rain, so we we're pretty happy we stayed here. Um, it's a beautiful area, nice cabins, really clean. I was up in the loft area just so I could spread my stuff out a bit. Um, yeah, it's just the road sort of banks around us and um, well worth a stay, anyone wants to stay here. Uh, we're going to try and go to Whitley Gap Shelter tonight. If we feel good, might go to Low Gap. We are a bit worried tomorrow. It says heavy snow at 8 a.m. Um, so, sort of pushing to get to a shelter. I might even stay in the shelter tonight rather than the tent because uh, I can see it's going to be absolutely wet tomorrow. All right, just going up to Neil's Gap to try and upload the first four days. Um, yeah, nice sunny day anyway while we're hiking. <laughs> Oh, good morning wake up it's quite steep up from the cabins it's just in that trail there which is less than 200 yards from the mountain crossings and the tree with all the boots supposedly all the boots of the people who'd quit here there's hundreds of them 25% one out of four quit at this point uh, I'm not one of those four, so well done, Theo. I don't know if it comes out in the video, but in the valley in the distance there, is it's all clouds, like a big lake of clouds. Just beautiful to look at. Still here at Mountain Crossings. Blood Mountain Cabins is down there somewhere. But yeah, it's just beautiful. I'm going up at this range here, I think, today. Walking along this nice ridge on a really nice soft walking track. Beautiful views on either side of us. Weird and wonderful things you find in the bush. Even comes with a welcome sign. <laughs> what an awesome view. Wow. Now these kind gentlemen have come out to do trail magic. They've got hot chocolate, Where is that? coke, uh, all sorts of stuff. It's, um, Are you lifting a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. You know what? Just, spray, just do icy hot spray. Yeah. yeah, let me get that for you. Ma'am. They've got first this aid. The best water, so okay. Fill up. we got 15 gallons. Okay. Thank you. And it was Pilgrim and... I'm Pilgrim, and that's King Tut. King Tut. Hey. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. Glad to do it. My uh, friends in Australia don't believe Americans come out and do this. That's unbelievable. Yeah. And thank you. Where are you? So we just come down from that mountain, down into Tiznati Gap. Got some trail magic. And you come up Wildcat. Oh boy, that is straight up. Now yeah, we're racing the storms. Um, it's supposed to be snow tomorrow and storms tonight. We're trying to get to low gap. Hey so viewers, reboot here. We're on our um, way down to low gap. We've got one more climb uh, after this and then another down into low gap. We're trying to beat a storm. It's supposed to come through at five o'clock. Uh, it's about 3.30 and we've got about uh, two miles to go. Uh, today's been interesting, not a lot of views, but um, a couple of major climbs. The first one out of Neil's Gap, 
I had leftover pizza for breakfast, so that didn't help. Um, cool. That was that was some climb. Then a nice ridge walking for a while down into Tesnati Gap, where we got some fantastic trail magic. Uh, thanks King Tut and uh, Pilgrim. They've been doing it 14 years. They come out. They're from a Christian group, and they have everything. They have um, medical supplies. Um, rubbish bins, uh, Coke, Pepsi, um, bars, food, everything. Uh, really appreciate it. And they want you to take the stuff. So that was fantastic. But then, after eating that and drinking that, you go up Wildcat. Uh, I can't describe how straight up that felt. And I was burping and felt full. And I thought, this is not ever ending. And I made it, got to the top. Um, guys got to the top as well. I'm still walking with Dave and um, Rob, who I think now is the hammer and legend. Um, we'll see if it sticks. Uh, while we're at the uh, um, trail magic, a southbounder came down the hill and he looked like he'd been in the jungle for quite some time. He was wearing a loincloth at the front and the back. He had this big uh, staff bald knob on the end of the, the had been worn that much he said he started in July going southbound and you know jokey if you ever seen the movie Encino Man that's what he looked like the caveman that they dug up uh, so I've got to try and get into camp it's supposed to be a small shelter and it sounds like a fuel going there so I don't think I'll get a spot in the shelter so I've got to set up my tent hopefully before the showers come it's supposed to be freezing tonight so I've got to sleep with me water I want to uh, put some warm stuff in with me electronics to try and make sure the batteries don't get uh, abused um, yeah and try and keep me boots a little bit warm nothing worse than trying to put um, frozen boots on in the morning it gets that cold that your water in your bladder um, your camelback um, freezes so I could be walking tomorrow with no um, with no water uh, the other thing that's supposed to happen is tomorrow at 8 o'clock a.m. Um, there's only a 30% chance, but heavy snow. So that's why we went to Low Gap today. Made instead of Whitley Gap, which would have made it 15 miles tomorrow, or 24 kilometres, we only got 10 miles, which is 16 kilometres, and it's pretty much ridge walking. So um, into Unicoi Gap, and hopefully get a shuttle to top of Georgia, and sleep inside for a while. All right, that's me update for now. Better catch these guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Okay, in the day five at uh, Low Gap Shoulder, it is full, so I did have to set up a tent. I got set up just before the rain, cooked at the shelter, and well, I made me frozen pizza from this morning, and uh, had a hot chocolate, warm me up. Um, it's getting cold already, it's only probably about 7 o'clock, but it's supposed to get to below freezing tonight. So, got the beanie on, I bought myself an AT buff. Um, that can go around my uh, face if I need to, that will keep me warm. I've got my gloves on, I've got my puffy jacket on, uh, wool socks, my thermals. I'm quite warm at the moment. I've got a drink bottle in with my sleeping bag uh, to try and keep warm. I'm putting all my electronics in the cracker barrel container and hopefully the lining in that will help keep that uh, okay. Um, I'm putting boots inside the tent tonight, uh, not that that'll make much of a difference, but um, wrap the bag around it, trying to keep the ice on the bag rather than on the shoes. Um, the pack's hanging up like it normally does in the vestibule with the hose coming through, but what I've done is uh, wrap the walking shirt around it to try and keep that so that it'll flow. Um, looking at it, the chance of snow has lessened, so um, that's a good thing. As far as 10 miles into Unicoi Gap, where I hope to get a shuttle into the top of Georgia Hostel, and I might be spending three days there, one day to upload all the videos, because uh, I wasn't able to get them out quick enough today, uh, this morning at Neil's Gap, and also hopefully do one day slack packing, so 
which is where I don't have to carry my pack, I just carry a day pack. Walk 16 miles, about 24 k's, and stay there again. Um, I never said my pack was walking 3,500 kilometres, I said I was. Alright, uh, it's two minutes, so uh, to wrap up for today, uh, Tashi and Sevi, I'm really missing this. Um, I love the little videos you send me, Sevi. Um, don't forget, keep an eye out for um, Wally when he's not in my pack. Uh, help me find him and let me know how many times you see him. Uh, yeah.